फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑन योर पीडिया सो आई एम श्योर आपकी प्रिपरेशन बहुत अच्छी चल रही है योर एग्जाम इज ऑन फोर्टीन ऑफ जुलाई एयरपोर्ट अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया और योर पीडिया अब आपको क्वेश्चंस बहुत से क्वेश्चंस प्रैक्टिस के लिए दे रहा है और ये वो क्वेश्चंस हैं जो एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन है जैसे आपके प्रीवियस ईयर में क्वेश्चन आए हैं वैसा ही क्वेश्चन पेपर आपको प्रोवाइड किए जा रहे हैं अगले दस पंद्रह दिन आपको क्वेश्चंस की ही प्रैक्टिस करनी है और बहुत से क्वेश्चंस की प्रैक्टिस करनी है सो यू आर टू प्रैक्टिस अ लॉट यू आर टू डू लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस यू आर टू डू मोर देन 200 हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन इन टू आवर्स नो हाउ टू डू दैट माई टूडेज वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू दैट दिस डॉक्यूमेंट इज ऑलरेडी देयर ऑन योर पैनल दे आर टू फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन ऑफ फिजिक्स इट इज ऑलरेडी कैप्ट ऑन योर पैनल एंड सच मोर डॉक्यूमेंट्स विल कम टू यू एंड आई एम वेरी श्योर यू आर रिवाइजिंग इट सो दिस इज अ टाइम वेन यू आर टू Revise the question, solve the questions, and just do the revision. Remember the formulas because Airport Authority of India is all about memorizing some formulas and using those formulas to solve the questions. So how to do? How to uh, you know make use of that is now this is two fifty questions in two hours. That is the document which is provided to you and topic is also given to you. So Coulomb's law. Now what question comes from Coulomb's? He is giving you two charges which are kept at some distance and what is the magnitude of electrostatic force? So all you need to do is you need to remember the formula. Okay, this is the formula I remembered. Now then solve it. So charges are given and try to solve it. So all you should do is take the print out of it. Remember the formula. This is the formula and try to solve it and try to reach the correct answer. That practice has to be there. And what when I'm saying within two hours try to solve it, that means your speed should be maintained. So accuracy decreases as your speed increases. Accuracy decreases. So you need to maintain the accuracy also as you solve the questions and try to solve it fast because when you solve many questions, then your accuracy starts hitting. and less time is required to solve it okay then same formula again force ka formula you have already done this is the formula of the force so he'll be you know giving you the question from different aspect sometime he will ask you to calculate force sometime he will ask you to calculate the charge or the distance that is the question he might give you now this kind of question also are asked very frequently so he is giving you the force and he is giving the distance now if he is change one of these he is changing the distance then what the uh, how the force is going to change now in this case the constants are going to remain same so force uh, if charge charges are not changing q1 q2 are uh, remaining same uh, constant is also remaining same so if only distance is the parameter which you are changing electrostatic force between two uh, charges is this and the distance is also given if the distance changes what is the new force in these cases charges are constant so obviously f is inversely proportional to r square so you can solve this and you can get the formulas right so two point charges separated by some distance so uh, what is the force of repulsion again the same formula on the same concept try to solve it and try to do the practice of this right so uh, now it is placed in between so net force how it is going to change it will increase decrease what will happen so read the question fast and try to understand the concept what is the concept which is given to you so right so they are applying force on each other so <coughs> what will happen if third charge comes there <coughs> right so on what concept you are reaching this you need to see how you think it is uh, solved so you need to spare some time you need to find some time to read this question also so on what basis you are saying it will increase or it will decrease or remain same or how it will change if the third force comes in between these two same sign this is the same sign same sign of what q1 or q2 that means both must be of the same sign if they are kept at some distance right so if third charge q is of the same sign as q1 and q2 that means q1 q2 both were of the same sign in the beginning their sign was same and if the, they are of the same sign then you know charges of the same sign will repel each other and if the third charge is also of the same sign then obviously this is going to repel it this is also going to repel it so distance is going to increase so you have to catch the main important point which is there in the question <coughs> so now uh, force after force electric field what is the formula so you know 
this is the formula of electric field now this is a single charge which is coming so the electric field is created by the single charge so remember this formula and solve these questions so as we know the charge is actually on the surface of any particular uh, you know conductor so this is conductor is given to you so charge is on the surface of the conductor and inside that conductor the electric field is zero okay so there is a formula between change in potential and electric field and distance that formula you should know so electric field is given distance is given and change in potential also you can calculate so electrostatic potential electrostatic field so you know this formula how it is to be solved so you are to solve this question and many such questions will be provided to you and that will basically uh, prepare you really well for this exam because your speed will increase your accuracy will increase electric flux you know the formula of electric flux you have to divide it by epsilon naught so charge over epsilon naught that is electric flux so formula you keep on revising gauss law is very very important so electric flux also the formula is there what is the total charge divided by epsilon naught okay gauss law x you know uh, application is when there is a infinite plane sheet or infinite long you know charge carrier not a finite line charge symmetric uh, shape is required infinite symmetry is required yes spherical shape best suited for point charge because of the symmetry then capacitance and dielectric <coughs> this is the formula this is the concept so all these uh, questions are framed in such a way so previous years uh, question uh, of uh, airport authority of india all previous years question paper of airport authority of india are taken then on the basis of that what are the expected question 250 questions that is made and provided to you just revise it that is what you should do and same more such set are being put every day on uh, panel of your pdia so please start doing it i am just telling you how to uh, revise that quickly these formulas are the formulas on the basis of which direct question comes now there is a capacitor which is charged to some voltage and then connected to another uncharged capacitor so what is the energy loss now if you do not know the formula beforehand of the energy loss in the exam you cannot solve this question so energy loss formula is this so airport authority of india physics paper at least is all about simple formulas substituting the values in the simple formulas and solving and getting the right answer so those of you who do not know the formula can't solve those of you who know the formula but they are not having the practice enough to reach the correct answer uh, within less duration of time cannot reach the answer they cannot solve it so you need to uh, get both you need speed should be there and you need to reach the answer right so c1 c2 so there is one charge there is uncharged capacitor and then you know you have to <laughs> this is the loss formula of the loss of capacitor with air gap is charged disconnected from the battery dielectric slab of constant is inserted so what will happen to the energy store so energy store in the capacitor that is very very important concept so capacitor in series capacitors in parallel that concept energy in the capacitor half of cv square that you already know this is the energy stored in the capacitor okay this is the same formula so it can be in capacitance and voltage form it can be in charge and capacitors capacitance formula or it can be charge and voltage so all these three formulas are the energy in the capacitor you know uh, i i have interacted with the candidate students who cleared this airport authority of india exam with 15 days of preparation how could they do it because they revised lot of question in those 15 days and 
on the basis of that they got confident so they kept on making the notes okay this formula this is the equation so previous years questions and from where the questions have come the formulas you have to revise and use the formula that is all the mantra of airport authority of india right so how the voltage changes energy changes initial velocity so this formula of equation of motion distance at the highest point velocity is zero acceleration due to gravity retardation v square is equal to u square minus 2 as so from there or you can find out the time also v is equal to u plus at v is zero u is equal to T into G, two seconds. Again, it will come back to two second. Two pi r by t. So, mechanics question, laws of motion, friction questions. So, friends, all these questions are provided to you. You have to solve these questions. So, just take this document and try to solve these questions, and they are the expected questions. So, two fifty questions. the purpose my purpose to make the video for this was to sensitize you that a very very crucial document is being kept on the panel of your pdf please don't miss it questions are going to come from this there are 250 questions and you are going to get direct questions in the exams related to these concepts all the very best and you have 10 15 more days practice a lot surely will crack this exam thank you